Welcome back to the channel, my name is Rikesh Patel and today we've got a really interesting piece of window art advertising and at the same time we're training one of our junior artists to learn how to paint windows so stay tuned to this video and make sure you like and subscribe to this channel Today's piece is for a Turkish restaurant and there's almost two sides of this design on the right hand side we've got a very festive magical Christmas scene which is incorporating some of their branding and then here on the left hand side we got a little bit more into the raw advertising which will be advertising their lunch offer in our hand painted window art advertising style and we're going to showcase some of their two for 15 pound cocktails on the bottom we'll talk a little bit about their new range of desserts as well today's job we got a very special guest featuring Laura She's, used, she's an artist that's used to working from home, uh, usually oil on canvas and smaller pieces. But today she's out here in the cold learning more about window art advertising. So let's try and speak to her. She's one of our junior artists here at We The Seeds Arts Agency. So let's go and speak to her. Laura, why, are you, why do you want to learn more about window art advertising? Well, I think um, it's a really common misconception that art has to be limited to canvas or paper. Um, and I think it's good to expand your horizons and just pretty much find any medium or canvas that you can paint on, which could be a window. Amazing. And yes, these windows, obviously there's a lot of footfall on the high street. So many people will walk past this window and see the artwork as well. So yeah, let's get this piece developing. We've already done the first layer of the sketch. Uh, Laura's just putting that kind of finishing touches uh, to where all the solid shapes are. And um, yeah, let's see how this piece develops today. So we're at a real stage of this piece where the sketch layer has been put in. So we basically said, okay, this is where the wording is going to go. This is where the picture is going to go. This is where the drinks are going to go. And when it comes to the wording, it's really important that once we have that initial sketch, we go over it with the first white layer. That's, that's how we can make the piece nice and bright. If we zoom into what Laura is doing right now, she's actually going over the wording with one layer of white. Now it's really important that she follows where all the wording actually is and at this point because she's going over the sketch it doesn't actually matter how neat she is at this current moment in time because if it's too big we can get rid of it if it's too less we can add more paint to it and make that lettering just a little bit thicker so she's using just one brush at the moment and she's trying to do one stroke to get um, that first initial layer in now it doesn't really matter if you're too uh, messy at this point because we're gonna go over it with one more layer of white paint as well um, but yeah I think it's looking pretty good we can start to see the piece starting to develop we've got one layer of white in we're gonna add some more colors to this but in terms of the lettering she's in terms of the lettering she's, she's doing a really good job of just getting those letters covered to start to create a solid letter foundation So Lou has done a really good job at filling in these letters and if we take a step back and just look at the piece 
You can see that this first layer of white is looking really strong and really solid. However, if we look closely, we can start to see that some areas are not as solid as the other bit. Now, I would personally say that these areas are not too bad because we're going to go over this one more time. I think structurally, everything is in its right place. Let's look at this bottom line. This is a really good example as a good first uh, of a good first layer. We've got end a healthy lunch from 2, 12 to 5 p.m. This kind of thickness we're looking for because it matches the thickness of the top and also the type of layer that it is. It's not too thick. Whereas it's gonna, you know, it's not too thick. It's it's gonna take ages to dry, and it's not too thin, and it's looking good. If we take a step back and just look at the whole thing from afar, we can see that this right hand side where it says F R O M, we could probably add a little bit more paint to that. So let me just add a little bit more paint to this side, just so that it makes an even nice first layer. So we got from here, from or down up. Got a little twisty bit on the O, it's around there. And don't worry if you go over the letter too much because we can always get rid of get rid of it uh, with our scraper tool. And just there. So yeah, I would say don't worry if you go over the shape too much because we can always get rid of it. I think it's more of a case of coating these letters and making sure everything's coated well. Um, and all the parts of the letter is coated rather than you know going over it too much and then we can always get rid of it with the scraper tool so as long as everything's coated um, and looking kind of you know more like a solid shape um, we should be good to go so let's wait for this to dry let's get back to working on the other side of the piece <music> So in regards to this side of the design, we are pretty much complete. It's all about building up those layers and this is exactly what Law has been working on today. Once that initial sketch is in, it's pretty much we're building layer after layer till it pretty much becomes a solid shape like it's on a wall or it's an it's a outside mural or something like that. So this particular layering process allows for the maximum amount of brightness when it comes to window painting. See, if we have one layer, it's extremely see-through. That's why if we come around here and have a look through the middle of this piece, you see this very kind of like a fading kind of effect that we got in the middle. If you look through that, it's very see-through. That's because the light is inside, is very bright, and the light outside is a bit darker than the light inside. And this particular layer that we put on is very thin. So imagine one thin layer, it's not going to be enough for the window. We have to build layer upon layer to which that the window will become nice and bright to look at from afar. So we pretty much finished this side and this is exactly how the layering process will allow us to create a really nice solid piece that the community will be able to see from far across the high street down the road. Yet we just, uh, Laura's just scraping the final little bits, we're going to clean this side up and we're going to start working on the colour for the other side of the piece. I'm here with Jem who is the manager of Lydia Meze and Grill. So Jim, you've been here quite some years. Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit more about Lydia's story. Well, well, Lydia has been a wonderful experience. It's a family-run restaurant. My father's the boss, and I've been managing it for managing this place for two years now. And yeah, we take pride in our food, our service. We welcome everyone at Lydia. Very nice. And how is it running a family business? Because I can imagine there's a hot, lot of heart and soul goes into your food, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's difficult. Naturally, running a business is difficult and running a Turkish restaurant it surely is. But it's overall a great experience. Uh, we love our customers. We love, we love what we do. We love serving 
and showing people our rich Turkish cuisine. So yeah, it's a difficult but a beautiful experience, man. Yeah. Very nice. See, Jem, I've tasted your food mm. and I think a lot of heart and soul goes into yeah. your food, right? So tell me a little bit more about, you know, if the viewers watching who's never tried Turkish cuisine. Yeah. What would you recommend to them when they come to Lydia? Okay, so as you know, we take pride in our food. Turkish people are known for this. Middle Eastern people in general. Our kebabs are very well known, but there are more special types of kebabs that not many people know of. For example, we have the different Halab kebab options, the Sarma Beyti kebab options. The Sarma Beyti, for example, is a minced lamb or chicken wrapped in tortilla, then a hot special tomato sauce on top of that, served with yogurt and drizzling butter on top. Very nice. That sounds, just, that sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Okay, very nice. And um, obviously, you've been here quite some time. What, what is your thoughts on the overall like, North London community and um, how have they been for you? Well, yeah, if we were to speak about Chingford specifically, we love Chingford and the community of Chingford knows us. Most of our customers are the locals, locals around 70 to 80% of them. And yeah, we, we, lo we love Chingford. We love Chingford. It's a great community, very friendly community. And yeah. Very nice. And, um, you know, when I speak to you, you seem like a forward thinking entrepreneur. I can see that entrepreneur spirit. Thank you. So like, um, what do you think the future of Lydia is and how, what are your plans to bring uh, Lydia into the forefront of like, you know, Turkish cuisine? Well, as I said, uh, most of our customers are the locals and what we want to do is we want others to enjoy our great hospitality and gr great food also. Those in Edmonton Green, Waltham Forest in general, maybe Waltham Stowe, we want them to come as well. As I've said many times, we give great importance to great food and most importantly, great service because this is a restaurant and as Middle Eastern people we take pride in hospitality and great service so this is one of our great aims yeah very nice and um, today we're installing your unique piece of window art advertising how do you feel about offerings like this and mm. what does window painting do to a business like yours well as you know we really appreciate it in fact the way you and I met was through these through these paintings I really appreciated it when I was walking and I saw all these businesses, restaurants, shops having beautiful art and restaurant is all about decor, it's all about presentation so I'm sure this is going to do great things for us it's always nice to have art and pictures etc especially this deal we have now it's very useful, it catches the eye uh, two mocktails for £15 yeah, it's going to do goodness Amazing, 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 Jim. So last, last question, how can we find out more about you? How can we follow you and support your business over on social media? So on social, we are on social media, we are on Facebook, we are on Google, we are on TripAdvisor, Lydia, Meze and Grill. Check us out, guys, and on, and on Instagram, at Lydia, Meze, Grill. That's you can follow us and see the pictures, videos we upload. Yeah. Amazing, that's Lydia, Meze, Grill. We had a great time painting Lydia Turkish Meze and Grill restaurant here in North London, completing their piece of window art advertising and the other side where it's more of a festive piece. We finished the colour layers, we added the shadow and highlights and then we finished off the final little bit of detail. Window art advertising, if you're learning, is all about layers and that final little bit, bit of detail really helped bring the piece to life. We had some great lunch here at Lydia as well. The business owner is really pleased. I'm going to show you a clip of what he had to say about the window painting as well. 
Um, but in the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, we're just going to go speak to Laura right now because obviously it was her first time painting a window. So let's see what she has to say. Laura, 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 what do you have to say about your first time painting um, this large piece of window and how does it differ to what you normally paint? Um, it was really enjoyable. It's interesting to see the yeah. technique, nice. um, how it differs to painting on a regular canvas. It's all about the layers and putting the layers in in a certain order. And when you put that final um, layer and the details on, it really brings everything to life. And something that was really 2D goes to looking quite 3D. That's great. And um, did you enjoy yourself today? I did, yeah, apart from it being so cold. Yeah, we, we both are very cold. So yeah, from a cold England, we just wish you farewell. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more window art advertising pieces. Mm -hmm.